What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Blanco's Fan TV. Welcome to the preview of Real Madrid facing Horacio Ciudad away from home. First game away from home. And this is to make a statement right here. Barcelona have just dropped points against Sevilla. A drew nil-nil against Sevilla. Now, Real Madrid, if they win this game, will be level with them on points. 65 points. And Real Madrid now need to make a statement. Need to make a statement to Barcelona saying that, you know what? We're in, we're in this battle. We are, we are in this battle. You need to take us seriously. And tomorrow, Real Madrid need to make a statement. But let's just say that right now. Not in the best of form ever since he came back from lockdown. They drew 1-1 against Osasuna on June the 14th. And then the next game, they they lost 2-0 against Alaves. These are mid-table teams. And let's just say that this season has been very, very, very good. They're competing for the Champions League places. They're competing for that top four position, third and fourth place. You know, so Real Madrid right now, of course, competing for that title. But let's just say that they're not a bad team. They're they're a good team, but of course, Real Madrid do have to be aware. Abar was they lack quality. Valencia were good. They were good, especially in the first half. They caused some Real Madrid some problems on the counter attack, and I think I think Real Madrid has even more of a step up than Valencia. So Real Madrid really gonna have to step up every single time. This might be the hardest game. Of the season, possibly, it might be. It might be. Real Sociedad are a very, very good team. Very good team. They score goals. You know, before the lockdown, they had the best attack in the league behind Barcelona and Real Madrid in terms of goals scored. And but they do concede goals, of course. And Real Madrid, I think the defense can handle that. Real Madrid got the best offensive record in the league by the better Atletico Madrid defensively. Real Madrid, you know, goals against only twenty this season in twenty nine games. Very, very good. I think Real Madrid can handle the Real Sociedad attack. And last time, Real Madrid won 3 1 against Real Sociedad. And Real Sociedad, it looks like Odegaard might be out as well. He's a doubt for this game. And if you're missing Odegaard, you know, there's then, you know, there's a lack of creativity for Real Sociedad. So, you know, that's a, a plus if Odegaard doesn't play tomorrow. I know he's one of ours and all that. But if he does not play tomorrow, it makes it easier for Real Madrid. Less problems there for. Real Madrid, but even Odegaard, I still think Real Madrid will win, will win this game. You know what? I'm tired of Real Madrid bottling it when it comes to when Barcelona drop points. Real Madrid drop points as well. You gotta stop that. Real Madrid need to take advantage here. Make a statement to Barcelona saying, you know what? We're in this title race. You know, we're in it. We're in this title race. You know, take us seriously out here. You know what I'm saying? We need to take Barcelona over, and the way to do that is to win this game. Win this game. You're showing a statement out there. It doesn't matter how you win it. Just win the game. That's all that matters. Winning the games. Every single game now from now on. is a cup final. A cup final. That's what it is. You know, so Real Madrid have to win tomorrow. Have to win. There's no draws. No losses. Real Madrid have got to a good start. A good start ever since lockdown um, stopped. They won against A-Bar. 3-1. First half was good. Second half was very, very poor. Um, against Valencia. Decent first half, wasn't great to be honest. Valencia caused some problems second half. Real Madrid just took it up another gear and blew Valencia aside. This time around, I want to see a more complete performance. Instead of a 45 minute performance, we want to see a, a 90 minute performance. We want to see a total domination. Of course, the rest of the are gonna, they play some nice football. They're gonna do, they're gonna cause Real Madrid some problems. There's no doubt about that. They will cause Real Madrid some problems. But Real Madrid need to, Cause Real Sociedad more problems, you know, with the attack. Eden Hazard coming back, Asensio coming back. Got Benzema two goals in the last two games, I think, or two goals last game for sure. Playing well, Benzema, and we know before lockdown, he wasn't very, very good. But hopefully that goal, especially that that third goal against Valencia, was superb. Hopefully that boosts his confidence as well, because we need Benzema for the rest of the season. There's no doubt about that. He and Eden Hazard linking up, very, very good partnership to have. Very high football intelligence between the, them two players we need to see more of that we need to see more of that and you know Real Madrid have to win this game there's no there's as I said there's no margin for error anymore no margin for error out here have to score goals have to score goals and they also see that are a very very good team though good team even without Odegaard they're a good team they score goals but without Odegaard and if Odegaard's out, I'm more confident. More confident for sure because they have less creativity in there. And I think Real Madrid will, will, will win this game, though. I think they will win this game. I think they'll break the habit of 
I'm balling it. I think they'll win this game. 2 0 Real Madrid, I think. I think they will win this game. Rosso Skedad will continue their um, their streak without winning a game. So far, they've lost. Well, they've lost to Alavis last game 2 0, a mid table club, and they, they drew 1 1 against Osasuna when they came back from lockdown on June the 14th. So there we go. So Rosso Skedad right now, not really in the best of forms. Real Madrid are flying. So I think Real Madrid continue the momentum they do have. A lot of positivity around Real Madrid. You know, Zidane did his press conference today. You know, he talked about different things. He talked about how every single game would be a cup final. He talked about Asensio. He doesn't want to force him to the team too much. He doesn't want to play every single game, every single minute. But I think he'll play him. I think he'll play him. He has to play him. Who else is he going to play? Bale. Valverde didn't work at the weekend, at the midweek. He didn't work whatsoever on that right wing. Bale. Does he, does he, does he really want to play Bale? I don't think so. Vasquez is injured, Jovic is injured, Isco's injured, Nacho's injured. Those are the four injuries. And I think Asensio has to play. Like he has to for me. Has to. Um, of course, Hazard's going to play. Benzema's going to play. That's where the threat's going to come from. But I do think Real Madrid will win this game right now. All the, the momentum, all the positivity going around Real Madrid right now. Everything's going well. You know, so I think Real Madrid will win this game 2 0. Real Madrid, and I think that that defense will not let a goal in. 20 goals conceded this season for Real Madrid, and you know the, the goal they conceded against AO was a deflection. So against Valencia, no goals conceded. I, although it was kind of lucky, Valencia did hit the post. They also got that disallowed goal. Of course, Real Madrid do have to be careful, but I think Real Madrid will get that clean sheet, win 2 0. I think goals from Benzema will score again. Um, and I think Benzema will get two goals, actually. I think Benzema will get both goals, get a brace, and get us that victory. Hopefully we win. Get level on points with Barcelona. That 2-0 victory. Hopefully it's four goals so we can get first place for right now. Really show Barcelona what we're all about. So that's what I think is going to happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you are new, of course. Peace. Let me know your predictions down below.